from the top, everybody. Good first practice. Are you gonna say you're gonna watch me? You're ready. <laughs> Welcome to Close the Loop. My name is Rachel and I am so glad that you are here with me today. It's been a hot minute since I've made a video and that's because life happened. I was teaching a creative dance class at a high school this past year virtually so needed to hop on the end of the school year train and deal with that. Also I got a summer job teaching at a theater youth camp so that's been a struggle bus and then we moved to a new house so hi everybody welcome to my new house that you can't see yet because it is a mess we're going to be in the process of continuing to renovate this place and getting it in tip-top shape so that I can give you guys a tour of the place if you hear roosters or birds or wind or something crazy suddenly happens in the background that's because I need to keep the windows open, otherwise it'll be super mega hot in here. So brace yourselves for background noise. I will do my best in editing to try to get those down to a minimum. So I would love to shout out a huge thank you to Clean Cult, who is the sponsor for today's video. Clean Cult is a natural-based cleaning brand that offers eco-friendly and kid-friendly and earth-friendly products that are safe for you, your home, and the environment. So today, I am going to give you a review of their products that I have been familiarizing myself with over the past couple of months. Hey everyone, just letting you know that I am rating these products from my least favorite to my most favorite, so make sure that you stay tuned all the way till the end of the video. So the Clean Cult model is a refill system, so what happens is you order your product and it comes packaged in a carton like this. So the cool thing about these is once they're empty, you just simply send them back to Clean Cult and they ensure that it is recycled properly because we want to make sure that that happens and that we're not wish cycling in our own recycling facilities. Because of the refill system, you're able to use your own dispensers for soap or even your own spray bottles, whether they're glass or plastic. That way you're reusing what's in your own house. However, if you don't have your own, you can always feel free to use their glass bottles, which are super aesthetically pleasing. And not just that, they're also heavy duty glass and they have a nice silicone grip on the bottom so that the bottles don't go slip sliding everywhere, which can be a huge problem with glass sometimes. So I'm so excited to just give you guys a little bit of my thoughts about these products. And I'm going to be super honest. I have try my best to put these products through the ringer so that I can give you an honest depiction of what I truly believe they are like. Over the past couple of months, I have been familiarizing myself with the brand, their products, and trying to see how they compare to conventional cleaners, other natural-based cleaners, and some other homemade concoctions that are common in the zero waste movement. I'm gonna be rating these products on a scale of one to 10 based on their ease of use as well as the overall performance. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. First off, we have their all-purpose cleaner. And the all-purpose cleaner was the one that confused me the most just because I'm used to natural-based refillable cleaners that usually have to be diluted or you need to add water. So to be able to just pour the contents of the carton into the bottle kind of confused me and it worried me because I thought I was doing it wrong, but that's just what you do. You open up the carton, you pour the contents in and it's good to use, which is actually easier than trying to deal with ratios. However, upon initially opening up the carton, there was quite a strong scent that came from the bottles. I was sent the exotic scents of the Clean Cult range. So my all-purpose cleaner scent is, what is it? Bamboo Lily, it's Bamboo Lily, and it actually smells really good. It's quite strong though. So for someone with allergies who's a little bit sneezy like me, it might not be your best friend with how strong the scent is. But the good thing about it is that once you use the product, the smell doesn't linger. It's strong for a bit, but then it goes away. I would rather take this smell though over a conventional cleaner because uh, at least I don't get a headache from something that smells good. Sneezing I can deal with. Just gotta take some more allergy meds. When it comes to performance, I noticed right off the bat that this cleaner is much more soapy than I'm used to in an all-purpose cleaner. So I have really enjoyed using it on heavy duty projects, such as restoring the vintage oven that we have in our house. I actually used it to wipe off all of the grease and the dirt and the buildup that has been left there from years of use. 
and it works all on its own. I simply use all purpose cleaner and a scouring pad and a rag and I went to work and cleaned the whole thing up and she looks good as new. I'm super stoked about that. On the flip side, you can use the all purpose cleaner for more everyday types of cleaning like wiping surfaces, wiping tables, counters. I've used it before to wipe my daughter's high chair at the end of the day or in between meals because that can get kind of messy. But I would prefer to use it on more heavy duty types of cleaning. So in the bathroom, in the kitchen. Another issue that I ran into is the shape of the bottle. So this is what the all purpose cleaner bottle looks like and it is super cute, super fun. All of their bottles have this sort of triangular pyramid shape. But because of that, it's a little bit difficult to hold the base. Sometimes the best grip I have is right at the top, but because it's such heavy glass, it's not the easiest to use. I've also had issues spraying it um, without it being upright. So you kind of have to hold the sprayer upright. Maybe it just is the one I got. But once you get a good, good couple sprays in, you can tilt it a little bit, um, but that's really the only issue. Otherwise, the product works great. And the bottle is pretty. So I would give the all-purpose cleaner a 7 out of 10 because it works and it's great. However, I don't think it's truly all-purpose. Is that a hot take? I definitely would use it on more heavy-duty cleaning projects and would use it in an everyday setting if I absolutely needed to. However, the shape of the bottle just isn't necessarily for me. I prefer a more rounded shape where I can get a good grip with my particular sized hand because my hands are tiny, tiny, tiny. But it is great and it works. Next is the dish soap. And the dish soap was one that took me a little bit longer to break into because we were in the process of using another regular dish soap that you just get from Walmart or whatever. So I was trying to work through that before I opened it up, but I have to say that I do really like it. The scent for the dish soap that I have is Blue Sage and it smells super great. It is super subtle, which I really like because I don't like when my dishes come because I don't like when the dishes come out smelling like something. I just usually don't like things to smell like other things that sounds really weird i just don't like it when like things that i'm cleaning come out smelling like certain things like to me clean means no scent so the fact that the scent doesn't linger is a really big thing for me i really enjoy that about this particular dish soap the formula of it is also less concentrated than a standard dish soap it's a little bit thinner i have found that because maybe it might be because it's a little bit thinner sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to rinse off i either have to have super hot water on or I have to run it under the water for a little bit longer or wipe it down a little bit more with my hands uh, just to ensure that it's completely clean because I don't want any dish soap lingering and I'm eating soap later, like that is totally not the biz. But other than that, I do really enjoy it. Um, a factor into that too could be that I use a loofah instead of like a regular dish sponge and that kind of allows the product to stay more on the dishes as opposed to being like sucked into the sponge. So that might also be a factor coming into play here. But at the end of the day, it cleans the dishes and that's what we're here for. So I would give the dish soap an eight out of 10 because the smell is subtle, it cleans the dishes, I just have minimal issues with it. Next, we're moving on to the hand soap and the bar soap. I just decided to lump the two soaps together because you can use the bar soap as hand soap or as body soap, it's, it's soap. The hand soap is pretty standard. Uh, it just pumps out like a regular liquid hand soap and I have had no issues with it. It cleans my hands nicely, it moisturizes them, it doesn't strip them like some hand soaps can do and I really like the scent. The scent is the same as the dish soap which is the blue sage and super subtle, smells really nice and my husband approves of it which is really hard to do because he's super picky with scents in our hand soap. So I'm glad that we got all that on the same page. But the cool thing about the hand soap too is that it's actually pretty heavy duty. So despite the fact that it's gentle and doesn't strip my hands, it still takes off 
the grime and the dirt of the day. I'm currently a teacher at a youth theater summer camp and we tie dye once a week and so my hands can get pretty dirty and stained because of that even though I'm washing my hands throughout the day before lunch and after using the bathroom and things like that. When I come home I'm able to use the hand soap, the liquid hand soap, and completely get all of that dye off of my hands from tie dyeing, which I think is super cool that something that can be that gentle yet that effective, like props to you clean colds. I really do enjoy that aspect of it. The bar soap that I have been using is also pretty standard. I use it in the shower, works well, smells good. It's the juniper and sandalwood scent and I really, really like it so much. So yeah. Works really great. Liquid hand soap and bar soap get 10 out of 10 for me because they're simple, they work well, they're effective, and I have nothing to complain about it. Next is one of the newest products added to the Clean Cult range, and it is their foaming hand sanitizer. I have absolutely loved it. It is a game changer when it comes to hand sanitizers. And the reason for that is it is alcohol free. You heard me, it's alcohol free. So it doesn't burn your eyes or dry out your hands, but it's still FDA approved and it kills 99.9% of germs and bacteria. So I think that is super cool. It's plant-based, zero waste. The power of this specific hand sanitizer comes from benzyl conium chloride. I hope I said that right. The fact that this is a plant-based, natural hand sanitizer, alcohol free, doesn't burn my eyes, doesn't dry out my hands, like has totally been super awesome. And not only that, but I still have a lot of product to go even though I have been using this on a regular basis. So a little truly does go a long way and I am stoked by this. So foaming hand sanitizer gets 10 out of 10. Cause it's good. It's just, it's, it's just really good. I have saved the best for last, which is the laundry detergent and oh boy oh boy the laundry detergent is my absolute favorite out of everything i've tried from clean cult the laundry detergent is the winner hands down we have had such a struggle trying to find the right laundry detergent that works for all of us that's me my husband and our little baby girl well she's like a toddler now she's a year old but finding the right detergent for all of us to use that's effective safe for her safe for both of us i broke up with a really bad rash postpartum and so finding a detergent that wouldn't irritate and bring that rash back has been a really big issue for me and also finding a detergent that we all can use that is also effective in cleaning my daughter's cloth diapers yeah, this, this detergent did it all. Cleans our clothes, whether it's mildly soiled or super heavy duty, like soiled rags, like things like that on top of cloth diapers, like dirty poopy cloth diapers. Yeah, this stuff cleans it all super effectively without me having to worry about putting extra rinse cycles or extra cleaning cycles to make sure that everything has all the dirt rinsed out of it. It just, it, it's like magic and I don't know what else to say because I just am so in love with it. The scent of the laundry detergent we have is the juniper and sandalwood, which my husband loves, I love. And again, I don't like lingering smells. So it comes out smelling like the detergent, but we hang dry our clothes. And so allowing the sun to shine on it and the breeze to blow through lifts off a lot of what would be a really strong like essential oil type smell. It leaves just the right amount of scent left over where I don't feel overwhelmed and feel like there's like big fragrance coming off of me. Clean Cult does offer an unscented detergent, which I think is a great option for people with sensitive skin or allergies like me, but I love scents too much to give them up despite the fact that I sneeze like it's nobody's business. I also really like the laundry detergent bottle that they personally sell because it's so pretty. Uh, my only qualm with it is that in the cap, the lines can be a little bit difficult to see for the measurements. So the cap measures 0.5 ounces 
one ounce and then 1.5 ounces. I really have to shine it in the light to be able to see it, but that is such a minor issue that I'm willing to forgive it, so. My rating for the laundry detergent is 11 out of 10, simply because it can clean our cloth diapers without me having to worry about my daughter getting rashy. Like, that's enough for me to be like, this is the best product ever in their range of products. In conclusion, I really just highly recommend all these products anyway. Even though I have had some issues with some of them, doesn't mean that everybody's going to have those issues. We all have different needs, have different expectations when it comes to a cleaning product. And so I highly recommend these products. And not just because this video is sponsored, but because I have enjoyed using them and they do work. Also, I truly believe that a company should be supported when they are friendly and kind and respectful and the clean cult team has been nothing but those things to me and so thank you again clean cult so much for sponsoring today's video i am super super grateful and i'm so happy to be partnering with you today if you would like to make the switch to clean cult today and try it out for yourself you can use the code close the loop for 30 percent off your first order that is code close the loop for 30% off your first order. I'll leave a link to the website below in the description box so that you have easy access and can head there straight away. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like me to do more specific brand reviews, go ahead and drop it in the comments below or you can follow me on Instagram at close.theloop where you can just send me a DM or drop a comment somewhere. That's it for today's video. My name is Rachel. I hope you have a great day. Ahui ho and yesu poo. Bye.